Yesterday I was explaining how we were traveling in the Marine Kingdom, after visiting Helen Heaven I did not expect this encounter, but the Lord allowed it for our redification, the Lord Angel transported me beneath the Atlantic Ocean, and when we got deeper, we discover a hidden world under the Atlantic Ocean, this submarine realm was ruled by evil's rulers that control all the domination and water spirit that control this dimension, there were many sirens and human, that travel beneath the water to seek power and wealth, other came to seek occult knowledge to dominate the earth, actually they were university in this world under the ocean, people of all language and all nation travel to this mysterious world to get knowledge that will enable them to rule on the land, for in the modern world science and technology is dominated by occult power, those who rule the earth today are men and women who have reached a high level of spirituality, they are the ones who are making law chief of state are surrounded by mystic because high spirituality occupied the heart of power and reality of this world, only those who have reached a high level of spirituality that are in power, you cannot dominate in this world if your level of spirituality is low, wealth and power is transmitted today to those who have a high level of spirituality, I was with the angel of the Lord under the Atlantic Ocean, in a hall that was called the General Assembly where I saw people that came from all over the world to seek power, but for the believer to get power we need to spend long hours in God presence, understand that great thing require great efforts, in this world either you have knowledge, you have goods or you have power, children of this world who seem wiser than that of the kingdom understand these things, for they came to this hall called the general assembly, where a goddess was delivering hidden knowledge to pastors and other. The goddess was also explaining to false prophet practices that they were supposed to do in their churches, afterward, I saw a demon enter the hall of the general assembly, from the door at the corner, and he underlined the assignment of these evil leaders in these terms, if these pastors of light and truth denounce you and the practices we taught you, you have the obligation of fighting them, you have power to sow rejection and persecution of children of light you have power to cause their member to have negative dream against these true servant and true children of God, beloved, when you dream something negative about God's servant, make sure you seek confirmation, when this demon was speaking I saw other demon opening computer and entering social network to get photo of God's servant, and they were arranging things that will discredit authentic servant of God, this demon teacher said to false prophet, you must work to stop churches of light and truth from developing, make effort to poison blessing of God children, they should not be blessed they must remain poor, stifle their teaching so that they will not accept the doctrine of holiness, people should not be aware of their ministry and their teaching and revelation, cause bad luck in God children life, you must sow the love of money in them so that pastor that preach the truth will be corrupted, brethren. As a Christian you must always strive to bring your spirituality to a higher level, you must know that many firms, companies and corporation and even work environment, are filled with people who have a high level of spirituality. These enterprise leader resort to occultism in order to go higher, the spiritual world control the material world, no sector in the world of men is spare from spirituality, even stylist and modelist that are producing global brands such as Versace. Gucci and Channel, have a high level of spirituality, even social network platform that are prevalent in the world have reached high spirituality in order to attract people and sell their services, phone network like Vodafone, Verizon and Orange are striving to dominate the market and have more customer, you surely see many commercial in TV, it seems every company want to be on top, but in reality they don't rely on commercial to be on top. They rely in satanic power and high level of spirituality to expend and have more customers. These company don't rely on their capital but they rely on their position in the spiritual world, and sacrifice made in order to rule, for high level of spirituality equal to more sacrifices, even key position in these company are occupied by people who belong to occultic order, the same thing are happening in hospital, when I was invited to testify in Tanzania. We went to the general hospital here in Tanzania, as soon as I entered the hospital the Lord opened my spiritual eyes, and I saw inside the hospital spiritual camera filming and moving all over the place to monitor patients and everything happening, 
the Lord revealed that there were seven kind of occult power active in this hospital, this is because these doctors working here belong to seven different occult brotherhood, I saw in patient's room where doctor had placed human skulls that could not be seen with human eyes, and these human skulls have been there for years, these doctors have reached a high level of spirituality, these are the kind of doctors that people respect, because they are the one who are the holder of the secret of the hospital, brother, if your spirituality is low, this is detrimental to you, because satanist and wizard would have upper hand over you and you will come under manipulation, and when I left the general hospital, I visited the great market of Tanzania capital, instead normal food I saw human meat being sold in the market by satanist and people including christian came to buy not knowing they are buying human meat, lucifer has turned human to a race of cannibal that consumed human flesh, this is in order to remind us that unless you take your spirituality to a higher level you will come under manipulation, going to church and having a bible is good but what matter is that you must get into intense prayer and fasting and it must become a way of life in order to raise your spirituality, unless you make a decision to seek the Lord there will be status quo in your walk with God, the choice is yours, your relationship with God is where it is because you are fine with it, you are the one who decide the kind of relationship you have with the Lord, but the day you understand that you came to earth to make an impact, to change life of many and to shine in darkness, when you understand that you must go deeper with God and raise the level of spirituality, on that day you will cease to be friend with food, and you will cease to be friend with sleep, the elect are not supposed to sleep like everybody, they don't eat every day, food and sleep are their enemy but they punish their body in fasting and abstinence seeking intimacy with God, you have a story to write with God and you have to make an impact, because you are a leader, the fate of your family depend on you, do you know that you are on the earth for some people to be blessed, you have to be blessed, unless you are blessed they will not be blessed, do you know how many are supposed to be safe and liberated from the chains and prison through you, it is when your spiritual level rise with God that many will be saved because of you, Many people will go to hell because they have failed to assume their position and their responsibility, they never knew that they were leader, they did not understand that many souls were supposed to be saved through them, they did not mind to pay the price in prayer to raise their spirituality, for the children of Israel to be saved Gideon had to take conscience and assume his destiny, he had to take courage, you cannot keep running away from your position the importance of depth and high spirituality is firstly because you are a leader, secondly because your family will be saved through you, therefore you must raise your spiritual level, you must seek depth with God because you are the solution to the problems of many in this life, therefore you need time in God presence, the Lord said to Peter get deeper in the water if you want more fish, get deeper with God brother, you cannot read the Bible like newspaper, you must read, meditate and study it, there is a difference between reading the Bible meditating and studying it's in order to raise your spirituality, when you are weak and unable to pray for two or three hours, you pray for half an hour and you cannot continue, the devil will continue to manipulate you. People who are elevated in spirituality don't sleep like you, don't you know great decision that affect your country and your city are taken when you are sleeping, in the night when many are sleeping they are leaders making sacrifices we are unable to react despite all these aggression because it is the level of your spirituality that will determine your freedom, our liberty depend on the level of our spirituality, you cannot be weak and claim to be free from bondage, only the weak that are dominated in the spirit world, the strong dominate the weak, you cannot dominate the one who is strong, many are still in that level where they come to church hear the word and pastor pray for them and they go home, that's what they understand as Christian life yet that being a child in the spirit, brother there are things that you will discover when you make decision and take initiative to go somewhere with the Lord, there are spiritual dimension that you can reach only with your own initiative, you are wasting hours before the TV and the phone, hours that could have been dedicated to long prayer, even five hours of prayers or the whole day of prayers, without power you can't do anything for the Lord work with powerful instrument when witches are shooting you with evil spells and sickness that are reaching you, it is an evidence you have not reached high spirituality, the time to consecrate and develop a deep relationship with God for our spirituality has come.
If we are superficial with God we will never go deep, but the decision to seek depth is ours, great treasure are never in the surface but in the depth, the Lord has hide them only for those who seek and got deeper, unless you seek the Lord will not reveal to you what is hidden, I.